Hello, folks, and some brilliant news from the TWAB this week. The Umbral Engram is finally making a return in Destiny 2 in next season, season 13. We don't know what it's called yet, but anyway, this is a great idea, but I wanted to tell you how these changes are going to be slightly different from what we're used to. So if you don't know, an Umbral Engram is basically an Engram where you can focus and kind of decide what you want that reward to be. So a certain weapon with certain roles or certain armor with certain roles so it's a really user-friendly engram that allows you to grab what you want to fill in your holes now they have said that while the new seasonal activity whatever that may be for the new season that will provide the fastest path to earning new rewards they want to ensure that regardless of how you spend your time in destiny umbral engrams allow you to chase new rewards as well now as with season of arrivals umbral engrams can drop all over the shop we don't just have to be doing the seasonal stuff it drops from normal normal stuff as well, but to give you an idea, you can now get them dropped from patrols, strikes, crucible, gambit, the ordeal, public events, blind well, hooray, nightmare hunts, exo challenges, empire hunts, and of course the new seasonal activity. And also umbral engrams have a chance to drop from defeating enemies anywhere in the game, so even if you're not grinding this list of activities, you can still be earning umbral engrams. So they're going to be a big part of our future, which I think is marvellous. However, they have said that you'll probably notice fewer umbral, umbral, <laughs> umbral en umbral engrams in your inventory than before because I remember the last time I was just full of umbral engrams they were all over me they were like shit in a field it was unbelievable so now we've only got a few dropping they've reduced that drop rate which I think is a good idea we don't want to be snowed under do we now of course umbral engrams need two things they need the prismatic recaster which is what you do to focus the engram and then you take your lovely glowy engram and then you stick it in the other thing what's it called the Umbral Decoder. That's our baby. Now then, looking through the TWAB, as we call it, um, there's a picture of the Prismatic Recaster, and it's been set in something completely different, because remember it used to be sort of off to the left with old Drifty Poos in his room, a kind of shackled up sort of jury rigged thing. Well, this looks like a permanent kind of thing. So it's got a pad next to it there, where you'd stick with the engram. There are different pieces of ground round here, if you do look at it. It's almost like a uh, deck plating there, and we've got the glass through the bottom. So where is this going to be? There's seems to be some kind of steps walking down into it there at the top of the picture too. So is this going to be, a lot of people have said that it could possibly be in the old black armory area where um, what's her face used to be? Ada! Yes, that's the one. So it could be in there and I can see there is the kind of that clear aesthetic there. But other people are saying, are saying, they also are saying that it could be in the new old tower. Now, I don't know if you remember, I did a video ages ago about, are we going home to the tower? Because unless you haven't noticed, the tower is actually being rebuilt in the background of the new tower that we're in at the moment. So at some point, we are going to go back. Could this recaster be in that new tower? I doubt it is going to come for a new season. I think moving to a new tower is going to be a yearly drop kind of event, a big thing. So it'll probably happen when uh, Witch Queen turns up coming at the end of the year. So I think this is going to be in the existing tower. It could be in the Black Armory place, or it could just be somewhere else. Because let's face it, they can stick on whatever we want and we'd be none the wiser. Anyway, I thought that was interesting to show you. Now, the Prismatic Recaster is going to be returning as a kind of kiosk, and it says it has a smaller loot table. But what is really cool about this new Prismatic Recaster is that there's going to be different pages for each season. So you're going to be able to focus your engram to the season of your choice. But they have said that the season of the hunt, the Wrathborn rewards, they won't be featured on the Prismatic Recaster because players can still use the Wrathborn lure to chase specific weapons and rolls throughout the whole year. So that's pretty good. I like the idea of being able to pick from different seasons which weapons you want, but they haven't said how many seasons are going to be on there, whether it's going to be the whole lot or they're going to be featuring different seasons as we go through. Bungie must have had to have changed something fundamental about their weapons because of this sunsetting issue and now bringing them back again. I don't think they did that just for kicks. I think they did that for technical reasons, for whatever those reasons may be. So I 
I don't mind having the new, perhaps the new perks don't work with the old weapon models, I don't know. But anyway, I think it's a good idea that we're getting more and more weapons piled back in, because let's face it, more guns makes everyone happy and makes the world a peaceful place. Hang on. Now, for a change, Bungie have introduced a new consumable to fill our trousers with, and it's called the Prismatic Lens. Now, this Prismatic Lens, it unlocks different focusing options for your umbral engrams, and it'll unlock focusing options so you can target a narrower collection of gear. That's pretty good. And also target specific armor stats. So you'll be able to earn the Prismatic Lens by doing various activities in the game, and then you can track your progress towards unlocking lenses actually at the Prismatic Recap. So what do you reckon then? I think it's a good thing. I love the umbral engrams. I particularly love the way they looked as well, the way they had darkness crawling all over them. It really does fit in with what's going on in the Destiny universe at the moment, and it gives us loads more options, and it's not quite so random then as to what weapons you're going for. It's going to make farming certain roles a lot easier as well. How that sits alongside sunsetting, I don't know, but let's look to the future, eh? And from what I can make out, it's only seasonal weapons that seem to be covered under the umbral engram, not anything else. Last week we talked about the Dreaming City weapons being introduced and some of the moon weapons. I think they're dropping into the general loot pool as rewards, and I think only umbral engrams you'll be able to get seasonal stuff. Yes. Oh yes, and there's just two other little things I wanted to quickly tell you before I booger off. Firstly, there's missing voiceover lines on the Harbinger mission. You know that the new Hawkmoon mission that's proving quite difficult, but I did bloody enjoy it. Uh, there's missing voiceover lines, so That'll be quite cool if we have to replay that again and we get some voiceover lines in the background to know exactly what the hell's going on. It's probably crow brooding and stuff like that, but still, we do enjoy them, don't we? And the other thing I wanted to point out was, I don't know if you've had a look on the director recently, but Europa has now got a different name. It's called Rathmore Chaos, Jupiter's Moon. Now, I assume that's the area actually on Europa, but it's completely changed its name, which was very bizarre. I thought I'd point that out to all you finicky glitchy fans out there anyway thank you so much for watching my bump and if you did enjoy it a like and a subscribe would go some way to making me very very happy i hope to see you all again very soon sausage out yeah, that took you a while you getting old <laughs> <laughs>